It's a beautiful sunny day here. So I've come to the banks of the river where I found this really rather pretty scene. I've got this church. I don't know if it's a spire or, or a steeple. I've got the, the, the banks, I've got the river, I've got some boats for hire on the other side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and take a, a, what I would call a standard pretty picture of this scene. And then I'm gonna try and find a more creative take on it. First things first, let's see what we get straight with, a, with a, the standard version of this shot, I think. I've got the church on the top, I've got the reflection down below, I've got the banks of the river, I've got these, these boats for hire, and it's all a very pleasant scene. So what I might do is just tap and just bring down the exposure a little bit. And all that's gonna do is just make the blues even bluer on this very bright day and that is like i say a very easy shot but i think we can be a bit more creative so to do that what i'm going to do is point my camera down to help me focus my attention here i'm just going to punch in on the zoom uh, two times is is what we've got here and also i'm just going to reframe a little bit so and this the, this church is is towards the middle now I'm just going to reframe so I've got my, my, my green banks kind of on the other side uh, and I'm losing those boats a bit. So I've got a lot of sky here, but actually that's the effect I want. So, of course, buildings are being wonderfully distorted by the uh, slight ripples on the water here. And there we go, we've even got some actuality, some sound from the church there. Right, here we go. I'm just going to try a couple of those and just try a couple of different framings one with a bit of the a bit of the shop really i think what's going to work best is just focusing on the church and of course the ripples being random probably going to want to take a few of those just so the the shot that i pick i've got some choices there because some of them really do distort quite a lot what I'm going to do now is just very quickly go in and edit these and turn them around 180 degrees, turn them upside down, and let's see how they come out. This is the standard shot. Very little effort required, if I'm honest. I've got my, my focal point, if you like, which is this church building. I've managed to make sure that I've got its reflection captured in the water. I've got some foreground interest from the foliage, and I've got some depth in the scene and interest as well there from the boat hire shop on the other side and it is a, a fair accurate visual representation of the scene and for that it's it's fine it's nice but I want to try and find something a little bit more creative. The secret source to this shot is focusing on the reflection but then twisting it on its head so the reflection instead becomes what we think our brains think is the reality because it's the right way up and I think it works on the whole, except for the real world impinging on my scene in the bottom there. And because that is in sharp focus, because it's very clear what that is, my, my viewer's attention, I think, is brought to the bottom here and not on the, the creative spectacle I was trying to take at the top. And if I'm honest, I get a little bit dizzy watching this one. I don't really know what reality is anymore. So nice idea but maybe a, a slightly different framing would have helped this one to work even better. This image for me captures exactly what I had in mind. It's taken reality, it's turned it upside down and it's created a new take on the scene that was in front of me and it feels very much like a, a watercolour painting. The blues in the sky look absolutely crisp and clear like very much like the sky itself does even though it was the reflection we've got the greenery of the banks of the river which look look great and then we've got this abstract take on the church tower it creates an evocative mood that is reflective of the original but tells a slightly different story and for me that's why this is a, a great way to have a slightly different view on this scene mm -hmm. 